It's been 12 minutes since Claude launched Claude Code on Web. I was just about to connect, and then I realized that if I connect later on to record the video, I'd have to disconnect and everything. So let me just connect that right now. All you have to do is just authorize it inside of GitHub. And with that, it should probably now have access to your repositories. Okay, so the first screen is set up your default Claude Code environment. You can either choose trusted network access, no network access, or custom access. Let's go with the recommended, so trusted network access. And there you go. We now have access to this interface. This seems pretty funny. And we also have access to our public repositories. To add a private one, I believe we have to install the GitHub app. So just click on that, install app. Now in here, we're basically allowing Claude to access, read, write, do everything inside of all of our repositories. We can also select specific repositories. If I were to select just a specific project, I would type in LLMs, just select that. But I don't mind it having access to all of the repositories. Let me check this and hit install and authorize. Now I'll probably have to authorize this through my phone. Let's wait for a bit and see if we get any messages. Okay, got the input filled. And for some reason, they took me back to the settings. Let me refresh this page. And after doing so, maybe typing LMs in here. Okay, now I got access to the LMs projects. So I believe this feature is more for vibe coders and all, or if you're in a Genta coder and you want to get something out there and just like test it through a browser, maybe you're maybe you went to like visit your grandma and you have an awful computer to use, you would then probably go for this. So inside of this Claude environment space is where you'd place all of your API keys. But since there's, at least from what I've seen, not a really reliable way for you to run this, then it kind of doesn't matter for most cases what you place inside of those environment variables. The way I'd apply and test the changes would be to have a different branch that is also published into a random domain, something similar to what Vercel does. So if you deploy a second branch to Vercel, let me open up my GitHub desktop. Let's create a new branch. This new branch will be test branch. So create test branch. And now inside of this branch, let me add my last name, save it and now publish the branch. As soon as it's published, let me head over to deployments. You can see that it's now building that specific branch. This will have its own domain. So I'm not really testing it in production, but it's still live in a way that if I apply these changes through this cloud.ai slash code, I'll then be able to actually see those changes live. So while this is building, let me select that same repository. And now let's just play around with this. So I just wrote that in the main branch, make it say hey instead of hi. Make sure that this is done in the test branch. You don't even know if this is the right place to specify that. Maybe later on, it'll ask which branch it wants it to be built on. But yeah, let's see. And by the way, the build got an error which is likely because of the issues from AWS that we're having right now. And by the way, whenever you wonder if a website is down, check either their website status, which in this case is clearly having some issues, or the down detector. This down detector is detected by many other people using that same service. They'll report that. And because of this, you'll likely imagine that the problem isn't with your project, but with Versal. Okay, so it reported back saying that it found the high in line 67, but the problem is that it must work on a branch that starts with Claude slash. This is probably a way for Claude to create ephemeral branches. And yeah, let's just have it behave the way that it's just set it to behave. So no problem do as you're told, do option one. And since Versal is in an option, let's just create another service inside of EasyPanel, which is hosted on Hostinger and well, Hostinger isn't having any issues, and I don't want to take advantage of Versal being down to say that, but I've been highly suggesting to just go for a VPS. It's much cheaper, faster, more predictable. It's just, I, I wouldn't say it's more scalable, but whenever you get to that point of scaling, then just go over to AWS directly instead of passing through Versal. But yeah, I'm getting off topic now. Let me just create the test branch. So I just fill this in with my GitHub username, the repository name, the branch, build path, hit save, and select Nix packs. Hit save again. Now just hit deploy since it doesn't have any environment variables and it should build just fine. By the way, just remember that if you use the coupon Leonardo Grig, you'll get 10% off in some of the hosting or products. Nice. So the deployment was successful. Let's click to open and there it is. Now back to our Claude web instance, you have perfect. I successfully updated the main page greeting from hi to hey. As you can see down here, this is the branch that it created for that. So I'll have to click on create PR 
and have that branch be merged with my test branch. As soon as the PR was created, it got a conflict, which is probably because the branch that Claude used was the main branch and my test branch had different changes. So it's having some conflicts. Let's see if Claude code, and probably it will be able to do this, can actually apply the merge and resolve the conflicts. So I just wrote the PR merges with test branch branch, but there's some conflicts. Please solve them and apply the merge. Okay, so it did everything. These were the actions. It fetched the latest changes from remote, merged, resolved, committed, and then pushed and solved the merge. If I, I and I can even click on the view PR down here to see that PR. And now if I go down here, I only get the verse sol error that didn't deploy, but I can click on merge pull request, confirm merge, and there are no conflicts now. The merge was now completed. I can go back to easy panel, hit deploy. It should identify the latest changes and start building. Okay, that was faster because probably a bunch of things are now cached. If I open that domain, I get the hey instead of the hi, which makes this a viable place for us to look at our changes instead of applying the changes to our main branch, which would take everything to my main website and isn't what I really wanted. I'm curious about this open in CLI button. If I click on that, command copy to clipboard. Well, probably if I open up my terminal and place that in, so Claude dash dash teleport session, maybe now I can continue the session from my own computer. So let's allow this and be careful with that. But after clicking on yes, proceed, it tells me I need to run this inside of the project. So let's do that. Now that I'm inside of the project, let's try that command again. Yes, proceed. And let's see if it now connects with that same session. Wow. Yeah, this is pretty interesting. Like this is the first really like different feature that I don't know if other like kind of vibe coding apps hosted on the web does. But I have the entire conversation, which I can just continue from my own terminal with my project open. Since this is a pretty new feature, if you find anything other than what I talked about in this video, please let us know down in the comment section. That is it for today. If this video was instructive at all, feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Till then.